Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Fang Jin from the University of Strathclyde. Today, my topic is the design and testing of an HTS propulsion unit for electric aircraft application. Um, my presentation will be into four parts. First is the introduction, and then I will introduce the HTS machine with the AC loss measurement, including the platform, the platform build and test, and uh, the coil AC loss in a machine environment. And then I will introduce the AC loss reduction in uh, HTS coil. And then I will collect uh, HTS motor with a cryogenic power electronic to do a short circuit test to describe the coil performance in a short circuit event. And finally, the conclusion. Um, here is some uh, interesting top um, projects from NASA and many institutes. They have focused on the uh, electric aircraft to uh, to solve the energy issues and uh, low carbon emission. And uh, the electric craft uh, with a superconducting machine uh, design can require, require a meg megawatt set of motors. And from today, uh, the power density of the HTS motor has increased. And we have uh, de develop a uh, HTS proportion unit by using a uh, um, col colorimetric uh, method. Uh, in, in, this, in this figure, we have um, prepared a three-phase stator coil and a, a two-pole pair rotor here. And this is the exaflux uh, rotor and enable um, to run a rotor speed at 300 RPM. Um, because now the bearing has a limit, we can not go higher rotor speed. Uh, in the future, we have designed a new bearing in for 1500 RPM. Um, and, and now the, the power rating of the machine is at, uh, can generate a 10 hertz, 40 volt, 40 amp. At, um, and and uh, in the future, we'll develop develop this machine to a 50 hertz, 400 volt, and uh, 300 amp using a helium gas system, and the uh, temperature can go down to 30 Kelvin. And this one is uh, a mirroring coil in in superconducting phase A, and it was put into a measurement chamber, but the measurement chamber had a uh, liquid nitrogen inside, and uh, in this graph, mm, here is a copper pipe connected to a flow meter. So, uh, if the HTS coil produces heat inside the measurement chamber, then the liquid nitrogen uh, boil off, and we can measure the uh, flat um, the flow rate of the uh, nitrogen gas, and then we can calculate the and dual heat inside inside the machine. And this is a, a stator coil prepared for uh, testing. It, uh, it had 76 turns um, for the for the first stator coil and uh, it self feed critical current is 72 and and uh, infield critical current Mm. It is 50, it's 53 amp at a peak 0 0.45 Tesla. And here is the result of the magnet, magnetization loss and the total loss of this coil. First, we can uh, keep the coil open circuit and uh, apply and, and uh, um, apply uh, rotate um, rotate the rotor and um, this is the, um, the the rotor speed, the, the relationship between uh, the rotor speed and the flow rate. Uh, we can use this flow rate to calculate the AC loss inside the coil. And here is the uh, we measure the total loss of this coil. 
we connect the coil with a uh, adjustable resistor and to run it with different frequency and different uh, resistor value. Um, so there is a, a different transport current inside the coil, as well as um, um, this, here are some measurements for different frequency and different uh, transport current. And this is the SLOS result of this coil. The, the, this is the magnetization loss. And this is the uh, total loss of this coil in uh, different frequency. And we also measure the transport loss of this coil using an uh, electric method. So uh, previous research on the ATS tape and coil, they focus on the transport AC loss or magnetization loss in a uniform mag magnetic field. And now we, we, we applied a rotational magnetic field to simulate a machine environment and study the AC loss performance in the machine environment. And from uh, our platform, we found at 10, 10 hertz and 48 uh, transport current, and the AC load of this coil is 4.56 watt, and we can calculate the efficiency of this um, machine is uh, about 99%. So this, uh, we can apply different uh, design or structure of the ATS coil in this measurement and uh, measure the AC load performance of different uh, HDS coil and to identify the AC loss reduction or connect it to a cryogenic power device to identi identify how the power electronic will influence the AC loss of the coil. Uh, first, uh, we have proposed a multi-filament uh, um, ATS wire. We have cut a four millimeter tape to one millimeter and stack it together and then solder it so uh, because we're layering the white of the tape, so uh, in theory, uh, it, the AC loss will, uh, will, will re reduce. And we do the uh, experiment to prove the, the new structure of uh, multi-filament wire can, can reduce the AC loss. Uh, we have made a four millimeter tape to make a comparison. And here is a three S coil. And it means a stack uh, to, to cut it into one millimeter and um, narrow and stack it together and then soldering. We call it three S coil. And we um, have used both 15.5 meters of uh, two kind of ATS wires and uh, when um, preparing two coil for um, start to study, the normal four millimeter uh, coil, the self infield critical current is 102 amp, and the infield critical current at a peak 0.45 Tesla is 59 amp. And the three um, S coil, and the self field crystal current is 91 and the infield crystal current is 49 amp. And because there is a mechanical uh, cutting loss, so there is around 10% crystal current loss after the mechanical cutting. And this is the, we put both coil into the um, tech, uh, tech platform and uh, measure the transport loss and, uh, and, and also the total loss. And we found uh, first the transport loss, uh, we measure both coil at 336 hertz and 72 hertz. And we found uh, the transport loss can reduce uh, around 40%. And we uh, put the coil into the ATS machine platform previously um, or to run in different frequency and different applied current, transport current. And we found uh, the total loss of the 3S coil can reduce up around uh, 26%. Uh, 
here is the magnetization loss of the 3S coil. Uh, we can find um, when we increase the applied uh, frequency and the flow rate increase, and we calculate the AC loss inside the coil, we found uh, this coil is 3.39 watt at 10 hertz. And this, this is a, a little bit higher than the normal four millimeter tape because um, we have used some solder in the 3S coil and they will cause the magnetization loss in, uh, increase. Um, in the future, we can improve the design of this coil by reduce the solder use in, this, in, in the wire and we can reduce the magnetization loss for 3S coil. And okay, and this is the, the second uh, experiment we connect this uh, superconducting machine with a cryogenic rectifier and then um, connect it with a register. And in this figure, we can find uh, the the phase the phase voltage of the uh, of the uh, superconducting machine, and the black curve uh, demonstrate the uh, the voltage after the rectifier. And we can uh, uh, apply. Imagine if there is one diode with short circuit in the rectifier, then uh, when the, the, the short circuit uh, current will flow from uh, phase B to phase A directly or uh, from phase B to phase C. And uh, um, after the short circuit test, and we found the Mm, the the um, um, transport current in the STS coil increased um, from 25 amp to 80 amp. Um, and the crystal current for this coil is only uh, 55 amp. So we observed the flow rate. We found this is the value before the short circuit event and the coil loss is 1.17 watt. And after the short circuit event, and there is around 90, 90 amp in the uh, ATS coil. And after the um, short circuit event, the coil loss is above 28.5 watt. So it's around uh, 28 times than before. And after the um, short circuit, we bring the coil out and we found the outermost turn has damaged. Uh, and also, we also do the simulation using the parameters uh, mirrored. And, and this is the um, a resistance for ATS coil before the uh, short circuit. And the arc, uh, this, this is the um, resistance uh, after the short circuit. And we mirror the uh, copper coil phase for phase B and phase C and uh, do a simulation. Um, and we, we found the simulation result and the experimental result uh, have agreed um, well. Okay, here's the conclusion. Uh, we have developed a cryogenic propulsion unit uh, for feasibility studies for uh, future electric aircraft. And we do the steady and transient test for uh, ATS coil. And the uh, SA loss will affect by the connection to the cryogenic power electronic. And, and there is a potential, po potential damage of ATS machine winding come from short circuit event. And so in uh, in future we we should uh, um, design some um, um, do some design to protect the ATS coil. Okay, uh, that's all. Thank you.